Thanks for watching, everyone. Please like, subscribe, comment below, um, suggestion. But uh, here's the materials for the fly. This is the McFly. This is a take on McFly Angler's uh, McCraw uh, jig fly. I'm tying it on a number two jim jig hook uh, for you know larger bass and so forth. Um, and you know here's the materials. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's a larger fly, so uh, you know it's going to be easier to tie. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is thread up some uh, some dumbbell eyes on or some lead eyes, some medium lead eyes, lead dumbbells uh, on the hook to give it weight in the, near the jig point. And I'm going to go ahead and add super glue for durability and all up and down the back of the shank just to make it a more durable fly. And then I've got Senyo's Fusion Dub in the flame color and I'm going to kind of strip it out and kind of make like a little tail and fold it over and then tie it down uh, and secure it uh, at the bend of the hook. Um, and then I'm going to make a little uh, dubbing ball and wax up the string and kind of uh, you know, put the dubbing around the, the string and then I'm going to make a little ball and, and and this is so that the it pushes everything out from the center of the hook like the claws, the antennas and uh, here's some, uh, this is going to be the antennas for the crawfish and it's an uh, olive crystal flash and you wrap that into the side on the side of the hook and have it go off to the side um, it'll get fixed later when you start adding stuff to it all right and next I'm gonna have barred olive barred rubber legs okay and those are gonna kind of help give action I'm gonna fold those over and then trim them um, and they give action to the claws okay um, And then I'm going to add another one to the other side and just repeat the steps. And I'm going to fold that over and then, uh, you know, those are kind of the start of my claws, kind of give action. I'm going to trim them and there you go. Trim them to length and there you go. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is add some scud back. Now you kind of loosely tie this to the side of the hook. It's in the bend, it's underneath the gap. And you loosely tie it and you kind of move it over towards the center underneath the, the gap of the hook. And then I'm gonna put in some uh, copper wire and this is for later on to secure the scud back down. Okay. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is uh, get some olive bark zonker strips to finish off the claws. And you kind of strip off the end that you're tying in, you strip the hair off and cut it off so you get a nice secure uh, claw uh, for the crayfish. Um, you know, yeah, I'm just working on the other claw. <clears throat> I was thinking about adding knives, but uh, yeah, I just did. I didn't think it needed. It's just kind of a bass jig to kind of help get some bigger bass when you're out on the river. All right, so as you can see, the claws are kind of shooting out to the side. All right, so I'm gonna add some more super glue for durability to kind of secure everything down. I'm just kind of wrapping and securing everything. And the next thing I'm gonna do is get some, uh, get the wide, widest feathers, the two wide feathers that I can get off this uh, pheasant, uh, neck here and I'm going to cut off the end you know to kind of get the stronger part of the stem to tie down and I'm going to secure that and I'm going to palmer it around the hook um, to kind of you know give the give the illusion of legs and, I'm, and that's basically going to cover about half the shank um, and then I'm going to and then I'm going to uh, get another wide uh, pheasant barred olive pheasant feather and I'm gonna cut off the, the thin part of it and you know make a little tie-in point. And I'm gonna cover up the shank of the hook and wrap palmer it around the hook. And you could use uh, hackle fault pliers, but you know you don't really need to on a bigger feather like this. So I'm gonna secure that and tie that down. And then 
I'm going to put the scud back down and I'm going to tie it down, you know, and adjust it once I start, you know, a couple of wraps once I start. <coughs> and trim off the excess. And there we go. The scud back's tied down. Then I take the wire and I uh, wrap it around. I'm not, not careful not to displace any of the, uh, any of the uh, claws or any of the stuff that I've just laid down and I wrap that around to secure it and, and give the illusion of segments. Um, so there you go. Uh, I'm just going to trim everything up. I'm going to trim the antennas to like different lengths to where they're not so long. Um, and then I'm going to... Oh God, I can't even whip finish the uh, fly for security. I'm going to add, uh, you know, some... Uh, super glue to the to the threads to kind of secure everything up and make it a strong fly and uh, that looks about it man thanks for watching please like and subscribe